Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 336. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 335 to 336. Hey, in this one, we want to talk about incrementing numbers in formulas. Now, I have done some other videos about uh, incrementing and in sequential numbers and formulas, but this one's going to show you just like all sorts of different options for doing this. Uh, let's just see, start off with something easy, 1 to 8. I want to get the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 using a, f um, a formula. And really, this is not meant to get 1 through 8 or 8 through 1, or we're gonna later we'll do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Usually you use these inside of other functions like index or VLOOKUP or all sorts of small function is another one. So let's see how to do uh, start with 1 to 8. We're going to use the rows functions because as we copy this down, if we say rows B dollar sign 12, that means the row reference is locked colon B12. Rows says how many rows are there between 12 and 12? There's one. When I copy this down, I get the numbers 8. Down here, this one was not locked, but this one was, so it remained 12. This was free as a relative reference to move to 19, so now it's asking the questions, how many rows are there from 12 to 19? There are 8. Now we do a, about the opposite for big to small number, or in our case, 8 to 1. You say rows, and you highlight your whole range right here. Close parentheses, and then you put your cursor in the last one. Notice we've started our formula in the top cell, but it, the trick is you put your cursor in the D19, hit F4 twice, lock that one. As this copies down, this one's locked, but this is free to move, so this will move all the way down to 19. Control Enter, and double click and send it down. So you can see as we got down to the bottom, the D19 was free to move. So down here it's asking the question how many rows are between 19 and 19? One. Now how do you do zero? Some, sometimes it's very important inside of other formulas to zero. Here we got one to eight. I'm going to copy this. Come right over here because I didn't lock the column reference. It'll work just fine. Notice the column wasn't locked, but the row was. Uh, but now we want, instead of 1, we want to get 0, so you subtract 1. So sometimes, very important for the first one, when you're incrementing numbers inside of formulas, that you get a 0. So there, we just subtract 1 and copy that formula down. Now, what about adding? So if we have, in some situations, we have to add 3 each time. This is called arithmetic sequence. The difference is constant. So let's say we'd have 3, 6, 9, right? Uh, 9 minus 6 is 3, 6 minus 3 is, let's see, is 3. So the difference between each one is 3. Or you could think of it as adding each uh, 3 each time. Now I want to notice a pattern. What's uh, 3 times 1? 3. What's 3 times 2? Oh, 6. What's 3 times 3? 9. So the trick is we'll use our rows equals rows of this cell right here, I'm in H12, so H dollar sign 12 colon H12, close parentheses, times our increment or difference. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it going down. So that formula will work all the way down, control enter. 3, 6, 9, 12. Now, sometimes you want to also have start with a 0, and then you want 0 and then 3 and then 6. So in that case you'd hit uh, um, the F2 key and you'd actually have to put this rows inside a parenthesis, say rows minus 1. So that gives us a 0 on the first one. 0 because it's 1 minus 1 is 0 times that and so that will give you 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. Now what about um, same thing but we want to start at 20. Let's actually copy this formula over here. Copy and Control V. See what I've done is um, the column reference weren't locked, so it, the formula moved just perfectly over to here. But now we want to start at 20. So in this case, it's important to my um, have the minus one. All we have to do is have that. That'll increment the three. 6, 9, etc. But then you just add the uh, starting position right there. So I'm going to hit F4 twice, Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. 
So we can see here we did the same thing, but we just added something to the end. So we get 20, 23, 26, 29. Now, what about those are arithmetic sequences that where the difference is constant, or you added the same amount? Ah, what about a geometric sequence? That's when the the ratio is the same. So what we want is we want to say we'll start with three, and then what's three times three? Nine. What's three times nine? Twenty-seven. Uh, three times twenty-seven? Eighty-one, etc. How do we do that with a formula, though? Well. Um, we're just taking the base, whatever it is, and let me control Z. Is this just um, 3 to the 1, 2, 3, 4th power? This is 3 to the 3rd power. This is 3 to the 2nd power. Oh, so the rows will give us the exponent. So I'm going to highlight all the cells, type equal, click on that, and I'm going to lock this going down. Carrot, shift six, and then we do our rows. I'm sitting in row L12, so I'll do L dollar sign 12 colon L12, close parentheses. So that will give us our geometric sequence. Control enter, and there we have it. You can see the rows incremented higher by ones each time. Now on to uh, something very tricky. This will be the trickiest. Uh, uh, number incrementing number sequence. What if you want 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Um, in, in this case, um, we're going to use, we're going to start off with the mod function, which gives us remainders, and we'll use the rows function in combination and see if we can't get uh, any set of numbers incrementing 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, what's the mod do? Equals mod. Uh, M O D mod. Uh, you take fifteen comma seven, which means fifteen divided by seven. What's the remainder? Well, fifteen divided by seven is two. Remainder one. The mod tells you what what the remainder is. So we're going to start off with the mod, and we're going to do rows, same incrementing number, n dollar sign 12 colon 12 close parentheses comma and we'll see what happens when we put as our um, divisor or denominator uh, our increment there or our number to repeat I'm going to hit F uh, 4 lock it in front of the num the row reference close parentheses and then control enter Let's double click and see what this does when we copy this down. Aha, it gives us 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0. Anytime you can get at least any set of numbers uh, repeating like that, you're on the right track. Now watch this. We're going to do a little trick here. I'm going to hit F2. The active cell is right there. Um, we have 1, 2, 0. But what if we subtracted 0.5? from this rows, minus 0.5. What that does is it means rows has given us 1.5. So when you subtract 0.5, it would be 0.5. On the next one, it would be 1.5. On the next one, it would be 2.5. Let's control enter. Look at that. We have 0.5, 1.5, 2.5. Now we can round, because rounding all of these numbers to the integers uh, 0.5 rounded to the integer will give us 1. This to the integer will give us 2. This to the integer will give us 3. Now, we can't use the int function. If we were to use the int function, the int function always rounds down. So it would give us 0, 1, 2. So we don't want that. We absolutely want to use the round function. And it's simple. Round, you just put round in there as the number. Come to the end, the number of digits right there is going to be 0. 2 gives us to the penny, 0 gives us to the integer or the dollar. Control Enter. So there we have it. And watch this. We can change this 4, and it automatically increments 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, here's an odd little trick. What if you had 1 to 7? You might not have to do this big complicated function here. You could use the weekday function. Let's just think about weekday. I want to type 1 slash 1 slash 1900. And I want to control 1 to format these cells. Click on this one and notice that the first year, first day in the century 19, uh, uh, the 20th century was Sunday. 
right? What does the weekday function do? Weekday. Weekday. I've done this in other videos, especially for daily Gantt charts. It takes a serial number, and you can go look up the return type in the help to see there's lots of ways to do this. But if you just do weekday, Sunday is 1, uh, Monday is 2, Saturday is 7. So by default, it's set up that day. And if I get rid of the formatting, Control 1 and then General, you can see that gives me 1. Now, what is a date? Notice up here, you can see we typed in 1, 1, 1900. Here we have it formatted, Control 1. What happens if we get rid of uh, our formatting? General, it gives us 1. You mean the number 1, that is the serial number, represents Sunday, January 1st, 1900. So the whole trick to this one is you just go weekday. And then rows, just like we've been doing this whole time. And I'm in P12, so I P dollar sign 12, colon P12. Close parentheses and boom, double click and send it down. So you can get 1 to 7, 1 to 7, all the way down. So that's how to increment from 1 to 7 if you happen to need that. Now, we've been using rows functions. Do all of these tricks also work with columns? You betcha. So here I have, uh, I want to go 1 to 8, so I do columns. And if you're doing columns, you can't lock the number. You have to figure out what cell you're on, C12, and put dollar sign C12, colon C12. And so that'll do 1 to wherever, wherever you go. So if I copy this over to there. And then, of course, we can do uh, 8 to 1 equals columns. And I'm going to highlight. Uh, Actually, all the way from there, all the way back over here. Close parentheses, and I'm going to lock the last one, F4, 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 dollar sign in front of the column reference, and then Control Enter, and then copy it over. And so that gives me my uh, my 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8 to 7. By the way, if you all these formulas have been popping up, I have. Uh, uh, more funk add-in. There's a great formula called Formula Text, which shows you in a cell whatever I have it looking right there. So it's always telling me what formula. All right, uh, incrementing numbers. That was lots of fun. We'll see you next trip.